By now you've heard the great news that Kamala Harris has tapped Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz to be her VP pick. And I wanted to do a very clear compare and contrast between Harris and Waltz versus Donald Trump and J.D. Vance. And I can't remember the last time there was a more stark difference. Tim Walz is a career public school teacher, has massively funded education for public schools in Minnesota, increased teacher salaries, and decreased the retirement age. J.D. Vance wants private school vouchers a staple of Project 2025. Governor Tim Walz has passed free school lunches for all kids in Minnesota. J.D. Vance has continued to block school lunch. Governor Walz decreased childhood poverty by 33%. J.D. Vance increased it by 12% by killing the child tax credit. Labor unions love Tim Walz because he fights for working families. He's raised the living wage, he's increased corporate taxes, and he's increased corporate transparency. J.D. Vance is literally a tech bro venture capitalist, and he supports Donald Trump's trickle-down economic scam. Tim Walz supports abortion access. In fact, he and his wife use IVF to conceive. J.D. Vance wants a national abortion ban and cruelly voted against IVF access as well, while mocking women who don't have children. Tim Walz passed comprehensive legislation to protect LGBTQ Americans from discrimination, whereas J.D. Vance supports Project 2025, which mandates deleting and eliminating any legislation that protects LGBTQ Americans from discrimination. Tim Walz has passed comprehensive gun safety legislation. J.D. Vance wants to further eliminate the weak gun laws we already have on the federal level. Tim Walz has passed climate justice legislation for a 2030 carbon neutral economy. J.D. Vance supports the Project 2025 fascist manifesto, which calls climate change a hoax. Tim Walz was also one of the first politicians to call for an immediate ceasefire and release of all hostages. He has referred to the uncommitted movement as civic-minded individuals protesting humanitarian crisis and their voices should be listened to. J.D. Vance is open that he wants to continue the genocide in Gaza. We have a chance to elect a truly progressive ticket between Kamala Harris and Tim Walz. Let's end this mega outrage and hypocrisy and make sure that Donald Trump never sees the White House again.